Animation X, or Animex, is a new series of masks for your Bogart operating software. The Animex program is an actual series of masks that contain animated backgrounds or objects that you can apply to your video production. Animex supports both standard definition and high definition projects in both the 4x3 and 16x9 aspect ratios. You'll find Animex in one of two locations on your Bogart software. You can either use it in the image processing menu where you can apply filters to scenes in the storyboard, or you can find it also in the edit menu under the special filter section. In special, we'll find south of the white line the Animex program. When you select this filter to the right, you'll see the controls that will allow you to apply the mask to the scene. Back in the scene bin here, we're going to choose a random wedding shot that we can apply an animated type of mask to. Here's a clip of the bride and groom coming down on a bridge, and we're going to render a little mask here on this scene. So, back in special, we'll select the Animex program, and let's start with the controls. Over on the right side, the first thing you can select is called Select Animation. This actually opens up your image pool. You'll notice that these controls are grayed out because at the moment, Animex is the only program that has animated masks. So these will be locked in as you've chosen the Animex in your filter bin of special. You can see that we have a series of different types of animated masks. Every time you choose one of these, just like you would with a pattern in your image pool, to the right you'll see the preview show you what that mask is going to look like. We have a series of lower third bands that you can use for things like titling, and there's also a series here of different types of animated objects. At the moment, you're only going to see a still frame of this particular mask as we're still looking in the image pool. When we want to see it animated, we'll come back out of here and look at it in the preview section. So for the moment, we're going to choose an animation here that might apply, in this case, to a wedding shot. Here are a couple of wedding bands that are interlaced that we can use as an animation. So once we've chosen which type of animation you want, go ahead and hit OK to close the image pool. Now you can choose to do the position animation. When you select position animation, we're now going to see the first frame of the video clip and menu controls to adjust the position and the size of that mask. You can move this menu up or down out of the way with the little black arrow controls that you're probably already familiar with. And let's talk about these menu options. First, there's the left click of position. This grabs the dotted box, which represents a little preview box of your mask. We can drag and drop this anywhere you want on the screen with your trackball, and once you left click, that's where you're going to drag and drop it. When you click on size, this actually allows you to size the box. Many of these masks that are in Animex are a fixed aspect ratio, so when you size it, it will always try to keep that same aspect based on your scene and your format that you're working with. Be careful when you use your size button. If you increase the size too large for some of these masks, it may lower its quality a little bit. So we're going to try to keep a nice high quality image of this animation and position this set of wedding bands right up here in this area. Hit OK to close the position animation button. A couple other controls here. First we have a fade slider. The fade slider is going to allow your animation to fade on or fade off on the scene. We're going to leave this set to zero for the moment. The last control here in Animex is called speed. Now under speed, you do have a drop down menu here to give you some different controls. 100% means that it's going to keep the default speed of the animation that is stored in the Animex program. But you do have some drop down options here. If you choose 50%, it's going to be half the speed, be a little slower. 25% a quarter of the speed, or there's also 10% of the speed. The smooth options here are to help smooth out that particular animation if you choose one of these slower speeds and it makes the animation have a little bit of a jitter. So you can choose either these percentages or smoothing percentages to slow down the animation speed. We're going to leave it set to 100% for now and talk about some of the previews. The first one is full size preview. When you go into full size preview, it's going to look a little different because we don't have the control frame slider here that you're used to seeing because we're having a different behavior of the Animex program. We see our mask here because we're looking at the first frame of the video as a default. If you were to choose your frame slider here 
and set the fade to be one second, you'll notice that the animation has disappeared. Again, we're looking at frame one, and it is at the zero alpha transparency, so we don't see it quite yet. So that's why we're leaving the fade slider at zero for the moment, so you can actually see the correct position of your animation. When you hit OK and come back out, you can choose the other option for previewing this information with your usual or normal preview controls. Here we're going to see a compressed preview of your animated mask with your video clip. You'll notice because this is compressed down, our speed is not going to be as accurate as what you'll see when you start creating this. So if you want, you can hit OK, start the build, and you'll notice with our S4000 or S2000 series, this animation creates pretty quickly. And when we can hit play, we'll see your animation. If this is moving a little too fast for you, then simply delete your clip and come back to the original. And this time we'll go into our speed controls. Again, remember under speed, we can choose to do this at half the speed or quarter the speed, or use smoothing controls if the animation appears to have a slight jitter to it when you slow it down. We're going to try it down at 50% and hit OK. This will create that particular mask across the whole scene that you chose in the scene bin. And let's play it. You can now see that this is moving much slower. It's a nice, smooth movement of the animation. If you do change your mind one more time, we can come back in here and let's apply a fade. Left click on the fade slider and set it for, let's try something like one second, and hit OK. And now you can see as it creates, it fades that animation on, fades it off, and here's the completed clip. So it fades on that animation, and then it'll fade it out. So that's using it under special, so it will affect and apply that mask to the entire scene that you've selected down below. Let's look at some more examples of Animex. We're going to choose a different scene here in the scene bin, like let's choose this uh, chapel shot, and go back into special. And under Animex, we're going to look at a few other animations, just for example purposes. Under select animation, again you'll notice well, we do actually have a breakdown of Animex into two sections. One is when you use the slider to go up, you'll notice that a lot of these are lower thirds, things that you might use with titles. The bottom section here is objects, like the wedding bands that we used. Some of the useful ones, you might use things here like the globe. When you use the globe, we can come back out here and use preview. This one might be good for like student broadcasts or news broadcast sections. There's also things in here like uh, time clock which might be good for showing a passage of time. So we could actually use the position option here and maybe position and size this right into the center and apply the time clock. So maybe you can show a passage of time using this option. One more animation that we can use here in Animex, let's go back into select animation, is the lower thirds. These are great for titles. You can choose any one of these that you want and we can actually use the slider controls over here as well. The alpha slider remembers your transparency level. 100% would mean that it's solid, and the more you lower this down, the more transparent it becomes. The colorize controls do apply here as well. When you turn it on, the default may turn it black. But don't worry, you can go right in here to colorize and change that. Under mode, set up what kind of color combination you'd like to use, just like you would with your image pool and patterns. We've already set up some colors here, but just know when you choose the mode of colors, these will open up and you can use your color wheel to choose different types of colors from your spectrum or from your image palette. These options down here increase the brightness, contrast, and color of these modes. I'm going to set this for default so it goes right to 100%. You can now see these three color combinations going into the mask. When we hit OK and close this, you'll now see it in the preview box. We can hit OK to close the select animation, and let's go into position animation to make sure it's in the right location. When you click on position, this again allows you to raise or lower wherever you'd like this band to appear. When I hit OK, it's now dropped it down, and we can either hit OK to create it, or it might be best to go into preview and preview this information. I'm actually going to go ahead and take the fade off this time and leave it on the entire scene and hit OK. 
Now here's our animated clip, and here's the playback. The great thing about rendering these filters in the scene bin is that this animation is now layered into the clip. So we can do one of two things. We can either add this to the storyboard and go right over to our titler and apply a title onto this scene. Or you can go right back into Special under Animex and we can select another animation to apply. Maybe you do actually want to use the globe or the time box. We'll go ahead and use the globe just for an example here. And in this case, we might want to turn Colorize off and hit OK and go into Position Animation. And here we can click on Size and Position and drop this globe right down on our clip for it and hit Preview. And now we can see here's our animated lower third, here's our globe. When we hit OK, it'll render them together. We're just stacking, fusing, or layering, if you will, these animations with the Animex program. And again, now that we've layered this, we could take this same scene, replace it with the one on the storyboard, and go into titling and start applying titles to this video clip. If you were to use the image processing menu with Animex, the advantage here would be that if you applied an Animex filter, you can always use the timer box to set the range, as opposed to having the filter render across the entire scene like it would in the scene bin. The Animex program is going to be a really great add-on for your Bogart editing. You'll have a whole new series of animated objects, animated backgrounds, animated lower thirds, things that you couldn't have had on here previously without doing a lot of workarounds. Check it out, the Animation X for your Bogart editing software.